Hey everyone, so I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with my surgery and how I'm paying for it. As you guys seen in my very first video, I told you guys I was going to apply for a Chase card, which I did. I went ahead and applied, and it was a quick and easy application online just because I already have a Chase card with them. And they already had my information saved, so all I had to do was let them know how much I make a year. And in about five seconds after I hit submit, they came back and told me I was approved. The only thing that I didn't like was I did get approved for 5700 And it was it, it is a lot, but it's not enough for what I wanted. I didn't want to hit the whole 5700 because my surgery itself is like 7500 So what I wanted, I wanted at least 10000 credit limit so I wouldn't be too close to the credit limit uh, maximum so my credit score can you know go down my credit score currently is like a 740 maybe 740 730 around there and I didn't want it to affect it so 10 minutes later I just called Chase and let them know that you know 5,700 wasn't in enough and they went ahead and increased it well they didn't increase it they did a transfer limit so that's something I didn't know and I wanted to quickly tell you guys and you know some of you guys may not know some of you guys do just like I told my best friend about it she also didn't know so a lot of people know if you have you know Chase here and you want to transfer your balance onto you know another card or whoever you want to go with Chase or somewhere else you could transfer that balance and pay it off there but I didn't know you could transfer your credit limit and transfer it to a whole different card on Chase so on my Chase Freedom Unlimited, I have a $10,000 credit limit. And on the regular um, Freedom card, which I just applied for, is only $5,700. So when I called them, they're like, yeah, we could transfer that $10,000 limit and transfer it to your new one. I was like, that just blew my mind. I was like, what, you could do that? They're like, yeah, we could do that. So I'm like, okay, great. So I didn't need a credit learning increase. They just transferred my limit balance or credit limit, whatever you guys call it, and transferred to the new one. So she asked me, how much do you want on the current one, the new one? I was like, um, my surgery is like about eight grand. Um, I wanted to put my massages on there also. I know it's about $800. Um, I want maybe like twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000 on there. She's like, for, for to be on the safe side, we'll just go ahead and put 14. I'm like, cool. So she transferred, I guess, the, the remaining or the difference from the $10,000 credit limit and put it onto the new one. So on my Freedom Unlimited card, my old one, I only have like $2,000, $2,500 credit limit on that one, which I don't even use no more. I just use it for gas, just so they don't close my credit card down or out, whatever. So they transferred it to the new one which was perfect so now, as you guys see, I have a $14,000 credit limit on there. One thing I do like about it is I have 15 months to pay off my surgery, 0% interest. That's why I want the credit card. Yes, I have all the money, you know, in my bank account, but I just wanted to pay with the credit card just in case something happens to my house. I don't know if you guys know, I just bought a house maybe a few months ago, three months ago. So if something breaks like the AC or whatever, I, at least I have money in my bank account to actually pay for it. I don't want to take another credit card. So I have the money just in case for backup. Zero dollars, annual fee. Um, I was like, what more can I ask for? I have 15 months to pay it off and I don't have to pay an annual fee for this credit card. And you get cash back. Like I said earlier, I thought my credit score was at a 730, 740, but like on this paper they sent, I don't know if you can see it. It says 774, yes. So I don't know how it got high so quickly because the last time I checked was like 730. I know different places give you different scores, but it's been around the 700s. Low 700s, 730, I guess. But now all of a sudden when I applied, it says 774, I guess, with the people they use. So what I do, some people are asking me, oh, how did you get that limit? Well, of course, you have to have a good credit score. Um, and basically, I just want to let you guys know about the credit 
uh, transfer, the limit transfer. So if you guys have, you know, Chase or whoever you guys are with, ask them if they have a transfer limit. So if you guys have a high transfer limit on a new one, see if they can transfer to a new one if you're going to apply for a new credit card. Because take advantage of the low uh, APR, 0% interest for a certain amount of months. I always go with Chase because my credit, um, my credit card with Chase, I loved. I initially with the first card I got from them, it was like $5,000 credit limit. And I asked them for a, an increase and they like, okay, yeah, sure. With no, no issues. They upped it to like 10 grand. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. So I took it and I knew when I got the surgery, I was going to apply for another card. And I was like, let me just go with Chase again. Cause so they like, I guess they had me in the system. So they know that, you know, I, there's no late fees that I had to pay. I've been paying on time. One thing that I heard, not sure if it actually works for people, but this is what I was doing. They said if you pay twice, two payments in one month for any credit cards, it helps with your credit score. Not sure how true that is. Like I said, that's what I've been doing. So for all my credit cards, I'll pay twice a month just so that I guess the credit company can see that you actually paid more than once and you're capable of paying, you know, your amount. So let's say my total balance for the month was $50. I'll pay 25 um, in the beginning and then the rest, the other 25 towards the end or the due date. So they could see that I was actually paying twice, but I was actually paying the full amount. Like I said, not sure how accurate that is, if that really does help your credit score, but that's what I've been doing. And to see my credit score actually go that high is, I guess, helpful. Because honestly, I only have three credit cards. Well, now I have four. I have my Wells Fargo, which I started off with, my Freedom Unlimited with Chase, and my Macy's credit card. And that's it. And I don't have high limits on my Macy's. I think it's like $1,000, maybe $2,000. Um, Wells Fargo is like $2,500. Chase, the first Chase is $10,000. And then now this one, well, now is 14,000, but you know, I did my transfer limit. So that other one's like 2,500. So I recommend people paying two payments in one month. See how that works out for you. Um, I got me a house with my credit. Well, thanks to my man also, cause he makes good money and has good credit. So what I use, I use TurboTax just to keep up with um, my credit scores, my taxes. See, like on TurboTax, it doesn't show I have a 748 or whatever it was. It shows this, so you guys could see. Yeah, you guys could tell I'm in debt. Just kidding. Uh, 738 is my credit score on here. They say my income is 35K. I don't know if you guys could read this backwards or if you guys could see it right. This one right here, my total debt is my house and total my debt to income. Like I said, do two payments a month and see if that helps out. Cause honestly, I'm not doing anything else. All my bills are auto pay, so I'm never getting hit by late fees. Um, so they say if you, you know, basically paid on time, paid in full, that helps your credit score. Uh, don't ever try to max out your credit cards. Don't get close to the limit. If you try to get close to the limit, call your credit company and just say, hey, I need a credit line increase because you know, if you're too close to the limit, your credit score goes down dramatically. I think last time I did that, it dropped down like by 20, 25 points. And um, I called Chase and that's when they told me, oh no, just, you know, we'll increase it to 10,000 and you'll be nowhere near, you know, halfway mark. So the more, I mean, the less you're closer to your, to the max, you'll be, you know, have a better credit score. So, like I said, I'm not perfect. With my credit score, I really don't know what all entails to get a higher credit score. I'm letting you guys know what I did to get my $14,000 credit limit on my Chase card with that transfer balance. Like I said, ask your bank about transfer limits. If you guys can transfer your limit to a new card, if you can apply for one, find the one that has like the longest 0% interest for the months. Also, it's a plus if you get cash back. If not, oh well, uh, mine has cash back. If you guys are really looking for um, who to go to, 
go to Chase. I love Chase. Never had issues with Chase. Um, I have two cards with Chase, like I was saying. Um, if you guys have any helpful tips on how to cr increase, you know, your credit score, let me know. You know, I would love to have some like eight hundreds. I would love to. Um, if you guys have any questions or about surgery or my credit or whatever, let me know. Comment below. Also, I think that's it. All right, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, um, whatever. All right, bye.